Good morning. As we have already stated uh, a few days ago, the European Union has activated all its uh, crisis uh, management mechanisms, in particular in the field of uh, public health and also in the field of uh, civil protection and uh, crisis coordination. Uh, so far, as you know, um, the uh, certain uh, actions already took place. I would like to mention in this context uh, the successful repatriation of over 500 citizens of European Union from China to their places, uh, uh, to their countries of origin in uh, European Union. We have offered uh, China assistance. Uh, this offer was already made by President von der Leyen in her uh, discussion over the phone with Prime Minister Li Keqiang of China. We are in constant contact with the Chinese authorities in order to see how we can jointly, in cooperation, stop the spread of this virus. Now is the time to, to pull our forces together. Now is the time to work together. Now is the time to do everything we can jointly to stop these epidemics. We are uh, working day and night. This center here works 24 slash 7. We are working all the time on preparedness and on possible responses with a view to have all the EU member states in a good state of preparedness and in order to exchange information, coordinate our efforts and see to it that these uh, epidemics would stop sooner rather than later. It is possible, though, that before things get better, they will still or could still get somewhat worse. But this will not discourage us. This will only motivate us more so that we are better prepared and we coordinate our action with a view to stop these epidemics. I would now be ready to answer a few questions of yours. Okay, thank you. So we'll take a few questions. Anyone? Please. Stopping direct flights from EU countries uh, to and from China can be a useful measure or not? The decision on travel restrictions is the decision to be taken by member states. What the European Commission has done, together with European External Action Service, it has advised all its staff to postpone all non-essential travel to and from China until further notice. Then it is up to member states to decide on about what they will do with regard to this issue. You are aware of the recommendation by the World Health Organization that travel restrictions would not be necessary. That's a recommendation from one side. Uh, as I said, it is up to the member states of the European Union to decide on the measures they deem necessary. Our ambition is that this is done in a coordinated manner, and this is the role of the European Union to coordinate actions by EU member states in this field. Will you advise, uh, also, sorry, will you advise also uh, your staff not to go to Southeast uh, Asia I mean, to avoid unnecessary trips to Southeast Asia? Such advice is not yet uh, offered. Please. Commissioner, I'm uh, No, 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 no. I, I, please, during this. Hello, Maria Sara. From Euronews, two questions. One, how would you describe the situation now? Is it worrying for you? And second, would the Commission um, support an extraordinary meeting of the ministers of health uh, that it is, rumors, rumors has it that uh, it will be this week? Situation definitely is worrisome. This is a worrisome epidemic. This is a serious uh, danger for public health. This virus, as you know, spreads with great speed. So uh, measures have to be taken, and we are trying to see that they are taken in a coordinated manner. And in this context, we also, the Commission also very much supports the convening of extraordinary Council of Health Ministers, which is supposed to take place later this week. Mark from Associated Press. Do you believe the numbers coming from China are accurate about total deaths? We have no reasons not to believe those numbers. Uh, since this uh, issue has come to the 
attention of the international community. I can say that the cooperation between the European Commission and the Chinese authorities has been good. The gentleman here. Uh, Rai Gavino Moretti. The Italy's government asked for a special summit about the ministers, the health ministers with the pre uh, Croatia presidential. Do you need, do we need a special summit on that? And second question, we are sending more material, uh, medical material in China. On the second issue, uh, yes, China made it known that uh, it would need uh, personal protective equipment, uh, like gloves, uh, protective masks, and protective guns. And we are in the process of mapping uh, the capacities that the European Union member states can offer, and we will uh, arrange such a provision of such assistance to China. Some of it has already, uh, was already sent to China, about 12 tons from Germany and France on a flight that was co-financed by, by the European uh, Commission. On the first issue, the ex Extraordinary Health uh, Council, as I said, uh, the Commission supports uh, the convening of such council. Uh, it will take place, according to our information, at the end of uh, uh, later this week. Uh, we believe that such a council meeting is useful in order to arrange for a coordinated action of EU member states. Lady in the back, lady in the back. But is it not, uh, I, I'm working for German TV, but is it not a waste of money to have the extraordinary health minister's council? Uh, couldn't we use the money uh, like to help um, other people? I mean, if, uh, you, you say it's, uh, it's, in, it's very important uh, to coordinate the measures. But we have a center here what is exactly doing that. So do we really need this uh, minister's meeting? This emergency uh, response coordination center is only one of the tools that we are using in this. I think it is still important and useful that the health ministers themselves sit together, discuss the situation, exchange information on the measures they have taken, and uh, see uh, how uh, further coordinated measures can be taken. The cost is of secondary nature for the commission in this issue, the public health is of paramount concern. We take two more questions, lady in the back. In back. Uh, <coughs> what are the concrete measures that could be decided and what are the next concrete steps? There are various uh, possibilities for, for the health ministers to look into. I cannot speculate what kind of concrete measures they will take. You know that member states have taken so far uh, a number of measures themselves, uh, some more than the others. What is our uh, belief is that uh, this issue is best tackled in a coordinated manner, and that's where we see the value of an extraordinary Council of Health Ministers. The gentleman over there. Commissioner, do you have a picture from the scientific community? I mean, uh, is there any progress in the vaccine uh, uh, research? As you know, the Commission has allocated 10 million euro last month for the research uh, of vaccine. Uh, this uh, funding can support uh, several projects. Uh, it is now, uh, the process is now open for the projects to be submitted, and uh, I hope that uh, this contribution from the European Commission will help achieve what we all desire, and that is to get the effective vaccine soon. Last question from the lady in the back. I am hidden over here. Uh, China, of course, is the world's second largest economy. Uh, it is a major trading partner with Europe. How is the EU preparing for what could potentially be a disruption to supply chains, to medications, to goods? This is a serious issue. Supply chains, uh, we all know, are global nowadays, and most of them have uh, an important uh, element, important uh, part in, in China proper. Uh, we know that uh, with regard to this uh, epidemics, uh, the <coughs> Chinese economy, the Chinese factories uh, are affected, and that, that by definition also affects the global chains and uh, global economy. This is a serious issue, but how, as I said already earlier, at this time, our paramount priority, our paramount concern should be devoted to public health measures, and uh, the economic uh, consequences are, of course, secondary, although not unimportant. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Commissioner. Okay. <laughs>